Next we come to the Lord of the Fifth Ray, Hilarion, who was embodied as the Apostle Paul. Paul, as you know, was a learned Jew as well as a persecutor of Christians. He was converted by the, the Lord Jesus on the road to Damascus and thereafter became a pillar of the early Christian church. He healed and exorcised demons. It is written that God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. His mission lasted 30 years. He set the foundation for the early church. The Apostle Paul, whom you see here preaching, made a certain karma in the persecution of Christians, standing by and consenting to the stoning of St. Stephen. So the Lord called him to a final incarnation after he was his apostle, allowing him then to demonstrate the ritual of fulfilling all things. Thus he fulfilled and balanced that karma in his life as St. Hilarion. Hilarion was a hermit and healer. He spent 20 years in the desert in preparation for his mission. Some of you remember that Paul spent three years in the desert of Saudi Arabia. You may not know that on the etheric octave above Arabia is the retreat of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul says over and again in the epistles that Jesus taught him directly, that he did not learn what he learned from the other apostles. Paul, of course, was not there during Jesus' life. So I have seen the Akashic record where the apostle Paul was taken by Jesus into that etheric retreat and given the tutoring for his vast mission. So here he is again as Hilarion back in the desert. Crowds followed after Hilarion to be healed of diseases and unclean spirits. He could never escape the people. They followed him to the desert, and throughout his life, he did nothing but heal. There's exciting stories of him in this book of the Lord's. The people are so afraid and terrified of a great storm that is coming upon their town that they prop him up on the shore of the sea with the waves raging. He makes the sign of the cross. I believe he draws it in the sand in the air. He raises his hand. And the description of St. Jerome, who wrote his biography of Hilarion, is that the wave that would come crashing down to destroy the town in the face of Hilarion stood straight up and as if growling and complaining, backed off and went uh, back into the sea. Such was the great presence of Hilarion, and of course, the people adored him. So he teaches us the gift of healing. He is a great healer today. His ray is the fifth ray. He helps you develop the third eye chakra with its 96 petals. 96 petals for that concentration balanced in alpha and omega. Here you can see the physical site of the place of Crete in Greece where he has his etheric retreat. So if you ever take a, a trip to Crete, you can remember that this is the healing temple of the Apostle Paul and Hilarion. If you can't get there, just call to his angels to take you there while you sleep at night, and it'll be just as good. Then there are the gemstones he uses, primarily the emerald and the jade. Hilarion also uses diamond and quartz crystal. So jade itself comes in two separate compounds. One is known as nephrite, and the other is jadeite. The jadeite is the rarer and more valuable, which is what we have. Now this is in the Nephrite cup of Shah Jahan. And then uh, we have the next, which is the jade. The Chinese believe that jade united in itself five cardinal virtues, charity, modesty, courage, justice, and wisdom. The Vedic scriptures say that jade of all gems removes negative karmic reactions. It's been used for healing since time began. To cure kidney diseases, nephrite means stone of the kidneys. There's no question that jade is a focus of healing. A little small piece of jade around the child who is hyperactive will calm the nervous system 
and enable the child to begin to reintegrate. Of course, a good balanced diet free of sugar and stimulants is very important for hyperactive children. Jade demagnetizes the body of toxins, therefore it's good to wear when fasting. Again, close to the skin, it's a purifying agent. The jade we have is charged by Hilarion. Jade is also used by the angel deva of the jade temple. This is an etheric temple of light, all of jade uh, in China. And this angel deva of the jade temple you can call to to assist you in your healing work. That's what his name is. So you say, beloved angel deva of the jade temple, come and assist me in these prayers for my loved one. Here is the emerald, the emerald itself was believed by the Hindus to confer the gift of memory, knowledge of secrets, and future events. Aristotle and others believed it conferred foresight, insight, and second sight. So you can see this emerald as the focus of the third eye chakra indeed carries that vibration. By tradition, the owner of an emerald never becomes poor. Romans believed that it discovered falsehood and treachery by turning pale. Pulverized emerald was used in the 17th century for eye injuries, reputed to deter evil spirits, astral influences, and neutralize poisons. The Hebrew tradition says if a serpent fixes its eyes on an emerald, it becomes blind. The emerald focuses abundance and clear vision. With the amethyst, it is the source of precipitation. It enables you and assists you in bringing ideas into form. Hence, it is the stone of the city four square, bringing the kingdom of God into manifestation on earth. It carries the power of sound, the soundless sound and music. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030, USA.